Welcome to this virtual exploration of Glasgow, a city rich with history, culture, and innovation. As we journey through its streets and landmarks, you will encounter the spirit of a city that has flourished on the banks of the River Clyde. Glasgow is not only the largest city in Scotland, but also the bearer of stories and structures that have withstood the test of time and transformation. Let's begin our tour. Our first stop is Buchanan Street, a dynamic artery in the heart of Glasgow's shopping district. It owes its name to Andrew Buchanan, a tobacco lord who, in the mid-18th century, had the foresight to develop this area into a thriving commercial axis. Today, the street is framed by a series of elegant Georgian buildings, a tribute to the city's prosperity during the tobacco trade era. George Square, named after King George III, is the pulsing heart of Glasgow's municipal life. It is also a repository of the city's collective memory and history. There's a number of statues and monuments that stand as silent sentinels, each representing influential events and figures that have left their marks on Scottish heritage. The Sir Walter Scott column in the center of the square is a tribute to one of Scotland's most celebrated literary figures. Erected in 1837, the monument was one of many across Scotland that commemorated Scott's contribution to literature and the national identity shortly after his death in 1832. The Glasgow Cenotaph stands as a poignant memorial to the soldiers who gave their lives in World War I, serving as a focal point for remembrance and reflection. Beyond the Cenotaph, the eye is drawn to the opulent Glasgow City Chambers with its ornate stonework and sculptures. It was opened in 1888 by Queen Victoria and represents the city's economic confidence and grandeur during the height of the British Empire. The building remains a symbol of Glasgow's civic authority and houses the workings of local government to this day. Offering a rare glimpse into pre-Reformation Scotland is this Glasgow Cathedral. It is the only medieval cathedral on the Scottish mainland to have survived the Reformation unscathed. The site is reputed to be where St. Mungo, Glasgow's patron saint, built his church and laid to rest in the crypt in the 7th century. The cathedral is undergoing massive restoration, which began in 2000 and is still ongoing. Adjacent to the cathedral, the Glasgow necropolis unfolds across a hilly landscape, 